Hi everybody, it's Brett here from Metropole. Today we're gonna to talk about the property analysis that you undertake, how you interpret and what kind of data and research do you look at to make your uh, property decision on the type of property you're going to invest in. And I believe there's two kinds of analysis you should be looking at. The first one is what I call fundamental analysis. It's the big picture. It's looking at things like supply and demand in the area, land to asset ratios, uh, incomes, the amount of income in a, in a suburb, the weekly family income, uh, it's high owner occupied percentages. So getting an understanding of those fundamentals because although markets can fluctuate, they generally always come back and fall back to fundamentals. So it's about setting that strong platform and fundamental analysis is crucial. The next bit is the icing on the cake, I feel. It, it's the technical ana analysis. <laughs> Uh, and technical analysis is more situational data, the precise moment, looking back at days on market, looking at uh, median house prices or auction clearance rates. It gives you a really good understanding of what's happening currently in the market or within the last few months and can give you an indicator of what may happen moving forward. It's great to look at that as part of your analysis. However, don't leave out the cake. Don't leave out the big picture, the fundamental analysis, because what many people do, and I believe this is how people come across hotspots, those property gurus. They're looking at research on technical analysis, what's happening in the current environment. But what happens, as I said, markets fluctuate and go up and down. And if you haven't done your fundamental analysis where the property always falls back to those fundamentals, those strong fundamentals, and you haven't done that first, you're gonna end up in trouble. And that's why today's hotspots become tomorrow's not spots because those fundamentals aren't in place. So as I said, make sure you get your fundamental analysis right first, then move to the technical analysis, and then you'll have the right kind of um, uh, strategy and right kind of property to move forward with. Thanks for watching.